when I was watching Bridgerton, I didn't know it was you. And then it got to the end and I went. Of course. <laughs> well, it's funny. I have been in this position before. I cast John Cho in Selfie. So that role was imagined as a white upper class Englishman, like Henry Higgins in My Fair Lady. And it took a really long time to persuade top to bottom of everybody in that chain that John Cho is a perfect choice. And I still love that show. And John Cho was the perfect choice, but it's, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to, if you have a very clear idea of how something should be, it's hard to kind of get past that. Well, a beautiful part is the almost universal acceptance of the choices that you made and the choices that were made, because it can be controversial, I guess, but then it's put out there in media and to see the acceptance is a wonderful thing and a wonderful thing to say about our time and, and that this momentum can continue and keep going. Yeah. Yeah. I really, I really, really hope so. But thank you for those words. It, it really means a lot. Well, it's true. It, and, it, and you also, you're setting the groundwork to, you know, when my daughter turns on TV, that's what she'll see. And I think that's where, when people see it, then, you know, sometimes it takes seeing it before the change can really hold on, you know, and then, then other people do it. And then it's, of course, why not? Why weren't we doing this before? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, I feel quite emotional. Thank you. I'd never even really thought about it this way.